Okay, on class work two, we're writing equations of a line. We start off with y equals mx plus b because that is really, honestly, the easiest equation to, uh, easiest formula to use to write an equation of a line when you are given m and b because that's what we're given in this problem. So the slope is negative 4, m is negative 4, b is 6. Since the equation is y equals mx plus b, my m goes in the m spot. My b goes in the b spot. And I have written an equation of a line. It's just that easy. I'm going to let you do two on your own, given the information um, we did on one. You can also do number three. I will give you a hint. Do not be fearful of the fraction. If it says M is three-fourths, then put three-fourths in the M spot. If it says B is negative one-half, you put that entire fraction in the B spot. Now, I want to do 4 and 5 for you because they're a little different. The slope is negative 3, but the y-intercept is 0. So you won't see the y-intercept written. Some people write this, and I took a few points off because I wanted them to simplify it without the 0. On number 5, their the slope is 0. So you're putting 0 next to x instead of negative 3 or 3 fourths or 9 or negative 4, putting 0. And 0 times x is 0, so it disappears. And all you have left is y equals a positive 2. So that's the answer. y equals a positive 2. Remember, slope 0 will always, always be a horizontal line. On number six, we want to write the equation of a line with a slope of three passing through 110. Now, we need to practice to do this by hand and not do the shortcut. So, if I use mx plus b like I did up here, I'm missing b. m is three, I don't know b. So, let's find him y equals mx plus b, my slope is 3, my x is 1, my y is 10, and I don't know b. 10 equals 3 plus b, subtract 3 from both sides, and b equals 7. I take 7, which is b, and I take my slope, which is 3, and I plug them in to y equals mx plus b. y equals 3x plus, and I plug in my b, 7. And you're done. Now, doing this for number 9, number 10, and number 7, as you do it, remember why you're doing it. B is not given. Yes, you can use the shortcut and plot the point, plot the slope, and use menu 613. But this classwork worksheet was meant to practice this. You may also use point slope if you know how, but we used this on this worksheet in the class. So do the same process for number 9, number 7. I'll help you on number 10 y equals mx plus b. So you put the y value in the y spot, the m in the m, and the x in the x. This simply means what is half of 4? 2. Now subtract 2 to get the value of b because 4 plus 2 is 6. Now prove it. Subtract because he's positive. You're left with 4. 
And if b equals 4 and this is your slope, then y equals 1 half x plus 4. Number 8, I'm not going to do, yes I am. It says 0 slope. Slope of 0, that means y equals some number. And what does y equal? 5. Number 8 is just like this problem up here, number 5. When the slope was 0, it was y equals a number. Same thing here. Y will equal 5 if I want 0 slope through this point. If I ask for undefined slope, I look at the X only. And it's X equals 3. And for those that need, <coughs> excuse me, a little more um, explanation, let's look on this here. Let's plot 2, 5, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which way does the zero slope um, graph? Vertical or horizontal? Horizontal. Good job. Is that a zero slope? Undefined slope? Of course, it's zero slope. It's m equals zero. Well, what is that equation? It's on the y-axis and it's crossing at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore, y equals 5. Now we do number 11. If I plot 3, 7, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I want undefined slope. So is that horizontal or vertical? That's vertical. What value, how do I write that as an equation? crossing the x-axis at 1, 2, 3. Therefore, x equals 3. And this is undefined slope. Now we move on to number 12. Oh, sorry, there's no number 12. It starts over. Number 1 on the back. So how do we uh, find the slope and the y-intercept? Go to the y-axis for the y-intercept. It's negative 2. Now let's graph the slope. Or find the slope, because it's already graphed for us. You have to find the points that are on the line that go directly through the graph, the lines on the graph. So for instance, I can't use this because it doesn't cross directly through these two lines. I cannot use him, cannot use him, but I can use that. It's directly through the middle. And I'm going to just make sure that I'm correct by checking all the other uh, dots that make this graph. So no, no, yes. No. No, yes. Now, when I count, I should have a, the staircase should be the same between each set of points. One, two, three. Up three. One over to the right. Plus one. Up three. Right one. Up three. Right one. I see that my rise is positive 3 because I'm going up 3 and my run is right 1 so positive 1 that means my slope is 3 that means my equation is what we did it on the other side y equals mx so 3x plus b plus a negative 2 and of course you guys know I love to write it y equals 3x minus 2. Now we do number 3. And we start at the y-intercept, if that's the easiest to get, which is 1. And then we figure out the slope. So let's go find the points we can use. No, we can't use him. No, we can't use him, but we can use him. Um, no. 
yes, no, yes. No, yes, no, yes, yes. Now we count and find our staircase between each pair of points, each set of points. I am going to go down one. That means negative one over to the right two. That means plus two. Down one, right two. Down one, right two. Down one, right two. I did it correctly. I know my slope now is negative one half. Therefore, y equals negative one half x plus one. I'll do one more, and let's do number four, because you guys struggle with the negatives, negative slopes. So my b is six, it's on the y-axis, and I need to find the slope. So I noticed this one has a lot of times it hits right through the middle. And then I also notice it's going down one, right one. Down one, right one, down one, right one, down one, right one, down one, right one, down one, right one. Down one over right one means negative one over positive one equals a negative one slope. And now that slope is negative one, y equals negative one x plus six. You should have enough information to now do four two. When you look at homework two, be careful here. On number five, do not write three x plus ten. This is not B. You have to find B. You should write that lowercase. You need to find B. All right.